Daniel chapter 9. But before I get started, I have a question. Has anybody ever shown kindness to you for no reason at all? Maybe even when you didn't deserve it? Well, today we're going to look and see that King David showed kindness to someone who didn't deserve it at all. He had done nothing to gain the king's kindness. So why would King David do this? This sounds like a mystery worth looking into. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs>
something was very wrong here. Wrong like that time I was on Wheel of Fortune. The yellow nose of Texas is apparently not a subtitle. <laughs> Why would the king want to dine with the relative of his enemy? If I were king, I would keep my enemies and their relatives far, far away. I would put up a big wall around the castle and make people use a super secret password to get in. And I'd only give that password out to people I really trust, like my mommy, my secretary, and uh, Ed McMahon. Just in case I've already won a million dollars. But I'm not king. I'm Sam. Sam Show. You know, Ziba, there's something here that I just really don't understand. It sounds to me like King David is rewarding Fibber McGee. <laughs> sometimes yes, and sometimes no. His name is Mephibosheth! And yes, the king is rewarding him. Not only does he have him dine with him at his table, he's also given him all the land that once belonged to his grandfather, Saul. The king has been very kind. Well, being kind is one thing, but shouldn't you only be kind to the people who are kind to you? Not the grandchildren of people who try to kill you. Well, sometimes it's good to be kind to others, just because God has been kind to you. Come again? Well, oftentimes God blesses us more than we deserve. So, maybe we can show our appreciation to Him by showing kindness to other people who may not deserve it. So, since God has been good to us, you think we should be good to others? Exactly. Interesting, interesting. You see, God has been very good to me. I mean, I've got a roof over my head, three square meals a day, a superior brain, and of course, I'm terribly good looking. <laughs> of course. I guess I never did anything to deserve any of this good fortune. Maybe you're right. I should treat others the way God has treated me. Well, that's what King David is doing for Mephibosheth. He's showing him kindness, despite the fact that he's Saul's grandson. This is good news. It looks like I've solved yet another case. My superior brain strikes again. Seems like King David actually isn't in any danger after all. At least not from this uh, mothball character. <laughs> it's Mephibosheth! Oh, right. Muffinhead. <laughs> Let's close in prayer. Let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and bow our heads. 